Should you buy or rent a property in Miami in 2022? COVID-19 did not stop people from owning a home and accomplishing their American dream. Tenants don't want to leave their expired leases and they keep extending the existing ones. Let's go. When it comes to buying or renting a property, there are many factors to be taken into consideration. Being a homeowner means a lot more than what the Oxford definition implies. Since the birth of this nation, homeownership has always been associated with the American dream. This concept first came from a writer named James Truslow in uh, his book called Epic of America in uh, 1931, in which he describes this American dream that we still follow today. Owning a home for most of us is part of the American dream because it allows us to own a piece of America. It is also something that we can physically see, touch, and feel. When you own a property, you have that feeling of accomplishment, that you have earned something here. In a way, it is a big reward for uh, your hard work because not many people can have this. According to the Census Bureau data in 2020, they estimated 82.8 .8 million owner-occupied households in the United States. Homeowners number increased by approximately 2.1 million compared to 2019. In 2020, we saw the seventh largest percentage increase in homeownership since 1965, which is a big difference. COVID-19 did not stop people from owning a home and accomplishing their American dream. Many more are still taking advantage of the low interest rates available right now and becoming first-time home buyers. Florida became one of the hottest places for new homeowners. Miami is the new hub for the tech and cryptocurrency world, which attracts a lot of the new generation into the real estate market. When people ask me when to buy a property, my answer is always yesterday. The sooner you buy it, the better. Build up that equity refinance and buy some more. Miami is just starting to grow and this is just the beginning while rental properties are still skyrocketing to the moon. Some of the prices listed for rent are unreal this year compared to what we had last year for example. Plus the availability and the conditions that they have. The rental market doesn't seem to calm down. Tenants don't want to leave their expired leases and they keep extending the existing ones. That is one of the main reasons why we still have a shortage of rentals as well. But despite of Miami's hot market, you will have to eventually decide between renting or buying right now in Miami. Buying a property is one of the most serious steps in someone's life. And if you plan on purchasing, you should understand whether you are ready or not. Generally speaking, buying is a lot better than renting, especially when you take into consideration the followings. Number one, you need to know and have a stable income. And you have to know that you won't change that employment anytime soon. Number two is you want to know how long do you intend to stay in the same place. You have to account for at least three to four years without moving. You have to have saved and easily afford the down payment, the closing cost, and other expenses that come along with the ownership title. Make sure you have a good realtor to explain you all this ahead of time so you won't be surprised when the bills pile up. And number four is you don't expect any primordial life events that 
could potentially make you move, could potentially make you downsize or upsize your property. Sometimes, you know, life happens. For example, like a divorce, a marriage, a new child. Sometimes we cannot oversee this. Things just happen. Once you have established and met all these key points from above, let's see what are the advantages and disadvantages of owning a property versus renting one. The number one is the equity benefit when owning a property. This has great value, especially when you own the property for a while now, the property went up in price, and you build up some equity while paying for your mortgage all this time. The equity is the difference between what your home is worth right now versus the value you still owe to the bank. Depending on the lenders and their criteria, your equity creates an opportunity for you to use it as a collateral for a new loan in case you might need one in the future. Being a homeowner, it is a massive advantage thus far. If you decide to use the equity or not, it is up to you. But inevitably, you will have the occasion to sell your property for a higher value in the future. Always double check this information with your realtor. Another benefit is the rental income. As a homeowner, you can have one or two rooms in the house rented all year round and making passive income while you are still living in the house. As a tenant, you don't have this option to even think of, unless you have a contract with the landlord that allows you to sublease that property. As a homeowner, one of the expenses that you will have to account for is um, yearly taxes. There um, is ways that you could deduct your rental income, your mortgage interest and property tax payments from your taxable income. Later on, when you decide to sell the property in the future, you could also take advantage of deducting the capital gains as well, as long as you keep your residence for two out of the five years. Always you have to consult with a tax advisor so you will get accurate information in your case. If you rent, you won't have to pay any taxes, but you lose all the funds every month and you have nothing to look at in return after a long run of paying someone else's mortgage. Another benefit is that a mortgage payment can be lower than renting. In Miami right now, a lot of renters are turning into first-time home buyers because for them, it's a lot more convenient to pay their own mortgage instead of paying someone else's mortgage. Most of the time, the mortgage payment will be about the same as rental, sometimes even lower. Wouldn't you rather pay a mortgage and have something that is yours rather than waste the same funds every month and have nothing? Another benefit or downside is closing cost, down payment, homeowner's insurance, and HOA fees. This can become a vast stopper for you if you take into consideration. You should account for all of them. If you rent, you don't have to worry about anything else other than your monthly rent. Another benefit is the ability to make any changes that you want in the property. And this is a good one because this is the best part of the home ownership that you can modify and transform your new home into your perfect sanctuary. You can paint it any color you want, you can change the layout, you can change the rooms, the furnitures, and anything you would like in accordance with the allowed permits, of course. But if you decide to rent, you cannot make any changes to the property without the landlord's consent, which it's just like a bird that cannot fly. <laughs> it's quite hard. Another benefit or disadvantage might be the maintenance and repairs. As a homeowner, you are the one taking care of the repairs that are necessary. But if you were to be renting, these expenses would be left to the landlord. So it's a benefit for the renter. 
Another benefit for the homeowner, there is no evictions. If you are a homeowner, you won't have to worry about those at all, unless you stop paying for your mortgage. Then obviously you will foresee foreclosure, which will result in about the same thing. But if you're renting, you are always at risk of being evicted. Something to think about. Another benefit or disadvantage is um, living in the same city, neighborhood, in the same house for a longer period of time. This can be a benefit or a burden depending on your situation. If you are the type of person that gets bored easily and needs to move out at all the time, maybe home ownership is not for you. Or perhaps you can still own a property and rent it for others to create some passive income. There are always ways to look at things from a different perspective. It's good to keep your eyes open. The best part of renting is the freedom itself of living in many places at all the time, having the option to explore, to travel, and um, the overall, it gives you more flexibility. Whatever you decide to do in the future, make sure it is in your best interest. And if you find it hard to decide and need guidance, feel free to reach out. I am always ready to connect with you. Thank you very much and see you next time.